and do everything tonight with prayer and fasting and obey God in all things and know that he will surely see you through as I was posting this tonight a couple people were sharing some of their testimonies and one of them was this. I'm not going to give no names to any of them that shared anything, but I just kind of felt led to do this. I wasn't sure if I'd have time to do it all on this broadcast or I'd have to do another one. But this one says, Within your fear lies your courage. Every day I strive to live wholeheartedly, and it's not easy. It's rewarding, fulfilling, and freeing. But anything but easy. I have grown more self aware in using my fears as a guide. In what actions to take and how to overcome it. I live for relationships and connecting on some way with everyone. I believe connection is so important and that we learn from one another. We're in this together. Though I strive on all relationships in my life, I also fear them. I fear them because to form a true connection, one must be vulnerable, which is always difficult for me. I fear having friends who are in romantic relationships because I'm afraid I'll be accused of flirting with a friend's boyfriend or always being chosen against. I also fear having friends who have or you already have made a best friend because I'm afraid of being the third wheel or again being chosen against rejection. What I fear the most is being paralyzed from my own past and repeating the same actions and being entrapped in my mind with the same old mentality. Like not scratching an itch, but learning that what, what fear smites me down, the action it must take is the one I'd rather refuse. Within that fear lies my courage. And tonight, that is a very telling story tonight because you know a lot of people are rejected a lot of people feel like they've just been thrown on a back burner but tonight we've got to let go of the past and the only way to let go of the past is stop letting the relationships define us and just start healing ourselves. don't go in from one relationship to the next But just find that space where you can love yourself. Find that space where you can find yourself. Find that space where you can heal yourself. And when the next relationship comes, you won't be bringing all the old stuff into the new. No relationship should take the blame for another. No relationship should be compared to the other. And no relationship should feel like they've got to compare to the other or be better than the other. Each relationship is a new beginning. Just like the day we get saved, it's a new beginning. All things pass away, all things become new. That's how each relationship should be. And before you start a new relationship, don't... And, Begin to heal yourself. Don't fall back in that same pattern again and again. And you will continue to fall back in that same pattern again and again. Until you find that point where you can heal yourself. And even after my divorce. I thought I was ready. But I saw myself fall back in the same patterns again. Because I've never truly dealt with the past and that's what we've got to deal with tonight we've got to truly deal with the past and we've got to truly let go